morning! Hello and welcome to my daily blog of life on a beef and arable farm here in really wet and miserable South Yorkshire. Not like the video is going to be though. See there is full of happiness and positivity. Morning! Andy's just done doing a mix, getting that sorted. I'm just going to go and open the gates for him so we can get some cows bedded down. Andy just letting the back door down a little bit. Ease a bit of pressure off the feeding. job when there's a lot of weight on the back door it means it's not getting as much pressure against the beakers with the shear bolt. So when Andy's used that straw that's in front and they can fold up the back door then that lights up reloads it. Yeah throwing it about 60 foot 60 70 foot Andy Morning. Wet, isn't it? Don't think we're gonna be painting good today. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh like even mucking out might be a bit of a struggle today. It's a bit wet in here. In, yeah, getting cows out and things like that. Um, what what do you guys do on a wet day like this? What do you do? If you're a farmer, do you get your inside jobs done? Do you just have the day off? Carry on working. Just carry on, yeah. Just get on with it. I suppose like <clears throat> if you're lambing, just getting on with it, aren't you? If you're outdoor lambing. Not As you can see, it's fairly clean in here, really. But we'll put some more straw in. The other side's a bit more mucky. Andy's got the sat nav on there, that's what the white thing is. The auto steer, CHC nav. This thing in here, and this thing. So it does the um, auto steering down the field. He's just sent me um, a photo of the ISO bus working on it, which I think is pretty cool. So you could take, I mean, this is a new tractor. You could put it on an old tractor, make your old tractor, auto steer ready, ISO bus, and add a camera to it. It's got a reversing camera as well. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Like you could just add all the technology in one shot into, um, into an old tractor. I've just tipped the mix off that Andy's just done and um, getting in my dad's way here. I'm just going to pull it up to the clamp so we can start another one a bit later today. Feed out with the TM320S. Get to straw these pens up. So these guys are all happily eating. If you just look, I'm started cleaning off this path yet again. Andy's filled it with straw out here. We only cleaned it the other day. Tom on with Andy just to get around the back as it's raining it's not raining that much though and i have got my waterproof coat on but you know no point being a fool and getting wet is there andy no no I'm tiring yourself out e so. exactly tiring myself out with this wet it's weather busy day ahead, yeah. yeah hey just been clearing your mess up on on the big shed path on the path yeah all oh, right spilling it over again Blowing over. To be honest, it can, <coughs> it can be helped. It can't really. It can be helped. It, yeah, put another panel there. Yeah. Same here. It's that light. Well, we're moving. We're just going to the back of the shed. You're going to get light stuff there. That's the problem when you get a straw blower. You get straw everywhere. You do it by hand. You get it where you want it. It takes you forever. We'd rather have a straw blower. Getting in here. Probably don't really need drawing up, but it's a wet day, so they will use it. Oh, he's bunged it up again. <laughs> Is that a surprise, 21? There we go, we're off, we're off. It's coffee time! A little bit later today, we're gonna have something special turning up. Just had a phone call. Wait and see. Me and Andy are getting cattle out and weighing them, clipping them, getting them all ready. 
This guy's a big fella. Seven, where was seven? Said 7.30 a minute ago. 7.24. In here now, and we've also got the new toy for Andy to play with this weekend. Isn't that right, Andy? I'd taken it, wouldn't it? <laughs> Andy's in Devon. So we might not get much opportunity to play with new toy that's here. We don't want these fellas, so we're sending them back. Come on. Nice and steady. Come on. Come on, Come on then. So this here is the new toy that we got for a few days. Payment 3610. So it's very, 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 very similar to our 93595, is it? The JCB. 910 meter reach. Very, very similar machine. But a Kramer. It's looking round it. It looks quite a decent machine. Looks well made. What do people reckon? Some big weight blocks on the back there. Boom looks lower than on the JCB. Yeah. Not sure if I'm sold on the headstock. But we've got an adapter plate. Matt's uh, thought of this. He's even gone to the lengths of changing the couplings on here so that it fits our machine. So a uh, big thanks to Matt from Infant Farm Services for that. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a little play with it, see how we get on. We are just about to do some mucking out right now, which we're going to use the um, TM320S for. Um, but over the next couple of days, we'll do a bit more in-depth looking at this, maybe comparing it to the JCB. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Anybody want anything in particular looking at, then let me know in the comments and we'll try and uh, do our best to facilitate people's needs about this machine. So Ben's just <laughs> mucking out in here. What? Burning rubber. Burning rubber, yeah. I think I might take him off in a minute because he might be digging in the come to this this morning and the water trough's been overflowing. It's nearly top of your wellies, Andy. I think we've sorted it though, but obviously we need to get the muck out of here to um, get it all nice and clean. Ben's um, ability to dig Look, it's not, not great. He's going over the top of it. He needs to get under, but not dig. And now he's digging. There's lots of muck there. What? I'm just like, I'll go and cut some maze out with the 9 meter because the other one's on like medium or pin. I'll show you in a bit. I suppose we could have really tried the Kramer in here, but we've not. The job that we would use it for if we did buy it anyway because that does all the mucking out. That's what the TM's for mucking out, feeding round. The 9.5 meter machine for us is just for stacking that straw, fetching the straw down and then all the odd bits like doing the mix and stuff when that machine's in use. So um, it's not really a heavy use machine, it's doing a lot of the lighter work and all the heavy lifting and driving and mucking out is done by the TM. Um, but I suppose we should have probably put it through. We might do it over the weekend anyway, stay tuned. I get to have a little ride out in the tractor today. Business. Whoa, here we go. Come on, 210 beast. Yeah, boy. I like that. Proper gearbox. Boom. Change it. Press the buttons. Go up and down. Put it where you want to put it. Oh, gate's blown shut on me. Sort this job out. So, I just got onto the track now through the big puddles. I think we'll put four wheel drive in. 
because it might be a bit wet in this field, I'm not sure. Go down the gears a bit. Take it nice and steady going in here. Oh, yeah, she looks a bit, a bit wet. But it's going in. We'll be right. Still moving forward. We've got a tipped up now. And we'll just pull forward. That's what she looks like, the beast. I've made a bit of a mess in here, but we've got to get that wet, uh, horrible stuff out of the cattle pen. It's just got to be done, even if it is a bit wet for coming out onto the field. So we thought, you know what? Let's actually give it a shot. Let's give it a proper, proper trial and do a bit of mucking out. Oh, it's a bit different driving this, you know. Hopefully I'll grow to like it. So now we've just got to put the bar in because here is an adapter plate. So it changes it from whatever Kramer brackets or whatever it is, changes it over to our pin and cone headstock. So we take this bar out here and we thread it through to lock the bucket on. So if we bought a machine like this, we'd have the headstock changed so that it was pin and cone so then all our brackets fit it like automatically and we can use the hydraulic locking so everything can be done from the cab. But um, yeah, just to get us through, we've got that uh, adapter. Well, there's one thing it's got plenty of power because it just keeps on pushing. You can get a good bucket full in and it seems to be putting the power to the ground really well. I mean, we're only shifting a little bit of muck in here. It's not like it's real thick stuff, but it, uh, it kept pushing. So it's got great length of the boom. Let's see. Uh-oh. We've got the back wheels off the floor and all it wants to do is lift up. So I think this is where we have to hold the lockout button there. And then we should be able to, with my other hand, lower it down. So, uh, folks, that's not how you're supposed to drive it. But it's willing. Yeah, she's good. She'll... Uh, good axles, as you can see. Nice yellow bit there. Oh, that's all about. The open display. The, uh, the JCB has that. I think it breaks in the... Uh, front axle so that's actually quite a bit better that it is anyway unless it gets hot around straw that would be my only concern about that um, but it keeps all the crap out of the front axle plus the brakes and the jersey beer in the front axle the oil can burn and we've had problems with that before anyway i'm gonna get this thing down because um, you don't want to be left up there does it i've found something that i don't like while doing this job um, I'm not going to say anything though until I've spoken to Matt to see if there's a way around it because there may well be a way around it. If anybody can guess, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, tell me what your thoughts are on the new Kramer. It's all right in here. Like I said, I'll do a bit more of a detailed thing tomorrow when hopefully we've got a bit more time. Big Mick might be here. Um, yeah. So far, so good. Just one little niggle, one little niggle, which I'll tell you about tomorrow. This right here though is why I, I don't like using these machines for mucking out. Seeing to the right hand side of this bucket is just a bit of a guessing game unless you stick the bucket right out. Good thing with this one is actually it's got a mirror there but it's just got a bit of muck on it that you can't really use it. Um, but yeah, this is just me not liking a side boom for mucking out. I mean, all the mucking out we do is with the TM, like I said. So this is um, one, getting used to a new machine, and two, um, using a completely different machine for a job. Oh, 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 but yeah, it's comfy in here. I will say that, it's comfy. Just 
just that visibility down the right hand side which you just get with every single one of these machines it's not a Kramer thing if you had a Manitou or JTB it's all exactly the same you've got a boom at the side here you're not going to be able to see over that side as well so there it is these guys are going to get some cattle's feet done now I'll go and take this back to the wet field then is it really wet? fairly wet yeah so this muck that we're taking here will be spread on this land then we'll plow it or maybe try to till it i'm not sure we'll probably plow it we've been so wet um incorporating the muck into it to grow the maize to then feed the cows all part of just a nice agricultural cycle the ground needs the nutrients from the muck and then the muck produces the feed for the cattle that then feeds us and then you could even use our muck, because they use sewage sludge, to grow the food for the cattle or for us. Oh, These cycles are just great. It's a bit like methane, right? They're talking all about cows producing all this methane. Well, that's the cycle. It naturally breaks down over time. So it's not like any added amount of methane. It's just going around in a cycle year on year. Degrading and coming back. We've actually got less cattle on, in the world than we've had in previous years so actually the impact of cattle is going down whereas I don't know your big factories your aeroplanes your traffic that's all increased so where where you know where's all this stuff come from cows of course it's always got to be farmers it's, it's, it's our fault easy easy pickings aren't we easy pickings don't, don't blame the airline industry because they make too much money we get lots of taxes from them can't blame them can't blame the car companies can't blame them get a lot of money from them farmers oh yeah 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 they're easy easy yeah yeah blame it on them you guys have been foot bathing that's what we're doing now got the race down there we're going to do this pencil which straight into the foot bath they've all been before so they just know what's happening they know where they're going i guess it's like dairy cows walk into the parlor We've sort of got it to that point now, which is good. It's just going to move the TM now so we can get the cows back into their pen. Andy's off for a little play. He's going to go and load the mixer up. Away he goes. Back on the JCB. I'll just take this trailer around the back. On old familiar. We'll back it into position and I think I think we'll fill it with a Kramer tomorrow, this trailer. See what she's like at getting the bales out of the shed. It's going around feeding, so we've had three telehandlers working at one point. It's pure bliss, we're just getting work done like that. So should we just get an extra one? You know, they'll be the cheap, aren't they? They're not. They're, yeah, they're really not. Like, yeah, they're not all really expensive actually. Mate, how are you doing? Good. Where's your IVs? Should we go and get it? Yeah. You tracked a bit. That's better, mate, isn't it? Who are you looking for? Daddy. Are you shout him? Leo. Leo, Leo, where are you? <laughs> and little man, I've come to look at the new tractor. Oh, tell you, Andy. Andy's on it. Yeah, the Kramer's the new one, mate. Yeah. And what's the green one called? John Deere. And what's the yellow one called? JC. JCB. JCB, that's it. Well done, mate. I see the yeah, and he's just having a bit of a, a play on it. Before he goes to Devon, this is what well, I think I'm going to morning, actually, but going to have him over the weekend so we might as well have a go and see uh, what he thinks to it you see squishy yeah. oh yeah he's over there look yeah. there we go we're given specific instructions to park telehandlers in a certain way by andy hide it in there mm -hmm. yeah right you wait there i'll get you out so the telehandlers had to be parked in a specific way. 
Because of this man. <laughs> Ben's playing with the lights, playing with Andy's lights. They're a bit bright, aren't they, Isaac? Yeah. yeah. Reckon then, Andy? It's all right. See what it's like when you get back, hopefully, if it's still here. Yeah. What do people reckon? Do they like it? It's a lot cleaner than our JCB. Yeah, it's just, it's got a different gearbox, this, to what we're used to with the JCB, and we're all just like... So it saves your brake pads, because you're not wearing pads as much, but we had that option on the manitou, didn't we? That you could flick the, so it took it out of gear to press the brake, and we never had it on, it's like when you... Yeah, yeah, but that's not what, this is a different gearbox altogether to well, the JCB. little JCB you just get out of the little JCB. It plays There's a dump, the like a dump it. valve, a dump, like you can dump the thing on these newer JCBs, but we find when you press, as soon as you press the brake, like... That's what this does. Is it? Same feeling, yeah. But you don't notice, you did well, drive yeah, it. Well, yeah, I did, yeah. But I'm, I'm more like doing push work. You didn't really need to brake with it, did you? So I didn't you, really need you, to brake with what I were doing. Yeah. But like, if you're coming to place bales, I'm not sure what that's going to be like, because I'm always on the brake or the accelerator in the JCB. Because your pants are full. Yeah. So I don't know. Wait, it's one of them. We, I'm glad that we've got it for a few days so we can have it and really give it a good test and see what she's about. Yeah. So we'll, we'll expect more Kramer action in tomorrow's I've video. I've seen it as well. I've seen, it, I've seen that. Just yeah. to make it feel more at home. More hillbilly. Right, we're going to get off. Isaac, where are you going? It's a good job I can see you in that high vis. Josie, you're branded at high vis. Um, yeah. Andy's back down to Devon. If people have liked it, remember to press the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. You might be here tomorrow. Big Mick might be here tomorrow. Back off his holidays. Andy will see you on Monday. And um, yeah, Ben will get to bed. Bye. Bye. Isaac, are you waving? <laughs> Here we go. It's time for Mick's Inventions. Uh, happy birthday to Mike Hogarth, who's 56. Thank you very much for raising some money for Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Anybody else wants to do that? Links in the description below. Birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday.